Hey guys, this is Doug with Four Wheel Drive Trek. I recently did a trip out to Moab, Utah. It was a fantastic trip. My fiance and I, we met my brother and his girlfriend in Moab. We started out with fins and things. Thought it was a relatively easy kind of entry into the sandstone driving. It was the first time outside of Washington State for me for wheeling. So it was definitely something I'm not used to. My brother was in a Nissan Xterra. He did a small two inch lift, threw on some tires, and uh, other than that it was pretty stock. I'm in the 2012 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon. I have a three and a half inch lift with some 35 inch tires. Other than that it's relatively stock as well. We decided to take on some of those trails together. It's better to go wheeling with somebody if you're going somewhere for the first time. And even if you've been there a few times, it's good to have somebody with you just in case for emergencies. Fits and things wasn't anything that was too difficult for either of us. The first thing that you do is you start off uh, on the trail going up and down the sandstone. It was something I've never ever done before. Not used to that. It was, it was something else. That's fine. Like yep. Throughout this entire time, we had the tumbleweed test. Tumbleweed is Barry and Maureen's little dog, a little Frenchie. Uh, you can follow her on Tumbleweed the Dog on Instagram. The tumbleweed test was how crazy was the trail. If she didn't wake up, you weren't going crazy enough. While we were on the trail, there were some spots that were like sandy banks, almost like a slalom course or snowboarding or skiing. Call them the uh, swoops. 
and it was a lot of fun. The faster you go, the higher up on the edge of the bank you go. It's nice, smooth, slow, or a little bit quicker. I would say Fins and Things was mostly an intermediate trail with any difficult areas that had bypasses except one. There is one hard descent you gotta go down if you're not used to any wheeling. Uh, it wasn't too bad if you know what you're doing or if you have a spotter. We got down with no casualties, but other than that it was a very, very simple, easy, fun, flowing trip. Down that area, I did want to take the more difficult route down, however, there was a family who stopped off in the middle of the trail to have lunch and just left their vehicle in the middle of the trail. So please, please, don't be that person. You want to have it fun for everybody else, you want to block it off that, that way. <laughs> Woo! So we decided to take on Arches National Park. For those who don't know, in Arches National Park it is about five, maybe ten minutes north of Moab. That was phenomenal out there. The views were breathtaking. First one we did was a uh, delicate arch. It is the one that is the kind of staple, the iconic. Uh, it's on the license plate of Utah. It is something else. It is beautiful. Uh, we wanted to walk all the way out to the double O arch. It was uh, about a four mile round trip and the trail for about half of it uh, was nice gravel maintained all the way out to broken arch. Now after that it got to be a little bit more fun in your own trail. It was pretty easy to find the trail. You could see where the walking path actually was, kind of where it's all worn down, people walking. You do have to go up a scramble at first. It's more of a rock, sandstone scramble. It's not loose, but it's you have to climb up a little bit. You're gonna have to use your hands a little bit. Then you follow along the ridge on top, and you just go and go, and it was beautiful. 
For the second half of the second day, we did go to Hell's Revenge. We were in the zone, going up and down and everything. That was my favorite trail of the entire trip. I did not do Mickey's Hot Tub, which is like the hot tub to do. There is no way my bumpers were going to clear that one, and frankly, it terrified me. However, we did do one of the easy ones up at the very top. That was really, really fun to do. Went into it like it was nothing. Came out of it like it was nothing. Then I decided to go in and do it backwards. Oh my god. Oh Jesus. You can get a ride from all these people. That's here. true. Onion Creek followed the Red Rock Canyon, and the trail follows Onion Creek. Onion Creek is no more than a dirt road with some river crossings going through. Most vehicles would be able to take that trail. That was really cool driving through these sheer rock faces that were just glowing orange red. And you go up and down and you cross 27 creek crossings. The deepest one was maybe a couple feet deep, but we didn't go very fast through those. Most of them on average were about six, maybe 10 inches deep. Now we did go at the very end of summer, so I'm guessing the water is gonna be a little bit higher during the springtime. Now normally you don't wanna just splash on through, make big waves, but we did drive through first, check them out. On the way back we did hit them a couple, a couple of them pretty hard. For the last half of the third day, we decided to check out the Top of the World Trail. I didn't get very much footage of that one because we were just going for it. We left the Xterra down at the bottom, didn't want to take that up the trail, so we took the Jeep. Only one major spot that we really had an obstacle. Now it did have a bypass, but where's the fun in that? I mean, you're gonna start rolling up on this rock. Are you trying to roll up on this rock right here? Yeah. In the eye. I think you'll be good. Yeah, you're about a foot away. Oh yeah, you're way good. You're okay back here. You're gonna start coming up. attempt of going up this obstacle I decided to leave all lockers off it wasn't quite enough so I decided to stop turn the lockers on <laughs> so I tried to just give it a little bump and the bump bought me right on up <laughs> Pictures don't do it justice. You get to the edge and you just overlook this 3,000 foot rock face down to the bottom of the valley floor. That was breathtaking. I've never seen anything like that before in my life. So unfortunately I decided to create the channel after we went to Utah. So I do not have a lot of video that we made for Hell's Revenge. So stay tuned. Like, subscribe, share, and we'll see you a little bit later.